Hello, guys. Welcome to... Look, there's a like there. Boom. So I'm going to try and block it out with my giant head. Hello, everybody. Welcome all those lead to... Lead. Lead to lead. Welcome, guys. Um, let's give a few minutes to log on. I'm feeling, you know, those times when you go to school. Um, well, obviously, that's, you know... Good 15 years for me. Um, when you go to school and you go to non-uniform day, I normally wear sensi tops when I do my calls, but today I am not. So it is like non-uniform day, it feels like, which is good because I feel more relaxed. How are you guys doing? Let's give you all a few minutes to log on. Let me get my notes. Look, look how girly I am. Look how girly I am. I only had a purple pen this morning. So I got some notes for you guys and it's in purple. Um, only because Alexandra only buys purple pens because it's all about Sensi Purple. Hello, Cara, Tiffany. It's great to see you again, Cara, and great to see you on the live after I met you on a Zoom call the other day. Um, so let's wait a few minutes for some people to log on because it's always good to network with people on here. Um, and then I'm going to get on with the call. Um, but if you are tuning into the recording or you are logging on now, Please listen in to the end if you want to grow your business, okay? Hello, Tia. Hello, Carmen. Hi, D. Hi, Carmen. Bonjour, Tia. It is great to have a global team with people all around the world jumping on from New Zealand, Australia, France, the UK, Ireland, Spain. Hi, Michelle. Michelle, hey. I had... Give me your location, Luke, Michelle. Hello, Rachel. Um, we've got seven people logged on so far, so when we hit ten, I reckon that is when I'm going to start, okay? So, let's wait a few more minutes for a few more people to come on. Of course, if we don't hit ten, I'm going to start. But um, let's just get people to log on, and then I will get started. And I will talk to you about leaping to lead and recruiting for your Sensi business, Okay. WA, Western Australia. Hello, Michelle. It's great to have you from Western Australia. So, Everly. I have not heard of Everly. Okay. All right, let's give... What's the time? Okay, it's 10.36 on my clock. So, yeah, we should get started. We gave a time and we are here. So, welcome, guys. It is awesome, along with Alexandra, to work with you guys as you progress to lead consultant, okay? And this is a big goal I really want you to push for. And if you're not a lead consultant, if you're not pushing for lead consultant and you're someone on the call like Rachel, Rachel Agus in Australia, and um, this is also a great call for you guys to get your recruiting up to scratch and really get motivated and up to speed. So welcome. Progressing to lead consultant is, I remember when... Alexandra first started as a lead consultant. She went to Sensi Convention as a lead consultant. The um, convention was in August. It was, what, six years ago? It was in August. And by the time, by the time November, October came, she was a Sensi director. How awesome is that? And I've also seen people like Melissa Lua Pepper go on it to achieve the same results. But it's, also, it's not also about speed. It's also about building good, solid foundations. And on this call, I'm going to talk to you about building good, solid foundations through recruiting. So I can't wait to see many of you progress from lead and to progress to start. To become a lead consultant, you need 1,000 PR, 1,000 TWV. Out of that TWV, which is called Team Wholesale Volume, 500 PRV needs to be your own. And you need to have a team member who also does 500 TWV, so around 700 PRV, okay? But, but guys, the big but is, that's what it says on the, on the compensation plan, but let's be realistic here. We need to bring in two or three team members because things, people might not stick in orders, people can join and not stick in orders, or, you know, people might stick in orders, but to be sure, so be, to be safe and sorry, we want to aim to recruit two to three people because, in this business, it's always good to smash your numbers. It's like there's a certain criteria for me and Alexandra to hit superstar director. And we don't just limp it at the end of the month. We kind of have our numbers in the bag by the 6th or the 7th of the month, okay? So that's why on this call, I'm going to really teach you how to recruit. And we're going to open up a Q&A afterwards on a thread in the page, 
Okay, so if you're asking questions on, you can ask questions on the live and I will answer them at the end. But I will not be looking at the comments right now because as I get through the call. So first of all, I want to start off with something from a big direct seller. A big direct seller who used to be the Australian manager. Um, she is her own author. You can look her up on YouTube. She has some awesome books which have really helped us with our recruiting early on in our Sensi, um, Sensi business. Her name is Mary Christensen and her talk is, and you might have heard this on my video yesterday, sales are the income for today. So that means you've got product, you sell it, and that income comes to you today. Parties are the income for tomorrow. So you've got parties booked for March and April. That income, which you're going to get in March, is going to come to you on the 9th of April. So that's the, that's the income for tomorrow. Where recruiting is the income for a lifetime. And I want you to remember that saying, as you progress through your Sensi business, okay? Something me and Alexandra will always say to people is, our sales have pretty much stayed the same for the last seven years. They average between 12,000 to 15,000 PRV a year, which compared to others is not a massive amount, but it's not bad, okay? But it's never really growing. And if you're always doing the same sales every single year, you kind of expect the same income. No, that is not the case, okay? We do get the same income from our sales, but we chose to become recruiting experts. Recruiting, we chose to put our main focus into recruiting because as Mary Christian says, recruiting is the income for a lifetime, okay? So I want you to remember that. And one of the biggest, 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 biggest things, which I also said on the video, which stops people recruiting is the fear of rejection. And when you are recruiting, you are going to get that rejection. It's, I can't, I can't muscle around it. I can't um, pretend that it's not, you're not going to get rejection. You are going to get rejection. But I don't want you to take that rejection personally. In fact, the rejection is not your problem. It is your potential recruits problem, okay? Because this is a great opportunity in all areas. It doesn't matter if you're in America and watching this. It's still a fantastic ground floor opportunity. And especially in Europe, Region 3, it is a fantastic opportunity. So always remember that. And you have to go for no. You have to collect the no's. When I was a young, young, young boy, which is a long time ago now, my dad always said to me, if you want a beautiful girl, Scott, you know, because you're pretty ugly, he never said that. If you want a beautiful girl, Scott, you've got to go and ask 10 pretty ladies out. And when you ask those 10 pretty ladies, nine of them are going to say no, yeah? But if you ask 10 pretty ladies, I can guarantee one will say yes. And that's what he always told me. And in Mary, Mary Christensen's book, and it reminded me of my dad telling me that in her recruiting rock star book, it says... You're going to ask 10 people to join your team. Nine people are going to say no, and one person is going to say yes. And okay, it's not going to work out like you've asked 10 people, so you've asked number nine and 10 is going to say yes. It doesn't really work out like that. You know, number one might say yes. But on average, through six years of being in this company, one in 10 people have said yes. So the secret is to collect lots of no's. Learn to enjoy your, your rejection. Learn to embrace saying no and sometimes no means no not now but it's going to happen don't be a, don't be a, learn to not to be afraid of the word no learn to want that word no when you want that word no you go and collect more no's and you get more yeses and this is a fine example even six years in and highest ranked in the company me and alexandra would one of the highest of course as in highest title me and Alexandra like kind of flip flopped the jobs, you know, to freshen things up. I would do one job, she would do another. And since Thea was born, so four years ago, I've been really doing a good 80% of the recruiting. Okay, Alexandra would have been recruiting from borrow bags and parties and basket parties, but I've been doing 80% of the recruiting. And we've kind of flipped that round now, yeah? Alexandra's taken more of the recruiting responsibility. And she said something to me yesterday, which made me smile to myself. She goes, Scott. I'm getting lots of leads, but none of them are, people are saying the kit's too much, and people are saying this and that, and I'm like, wow, welcome to my world for the last four years, just a reminder, Alexandra, of what you used to before, and she kind of woke up and went, yeah, you're right, so it's all about collecting no's, you know, you're going to get far more no's and rejection than you are going to get yeses, just remember that, and still six years in, 
We still experience that, okay? And we could say we could master one in five, but it, we've tried that. And on average, it's one in 10. So ask people. Don't be afraid to ask people. It's all about the no. My next section is, it's a 90-day cycle to recruit in success, okay? Once again, being in this business for six and a half years, I can name one person, I can name, even name her by her name, Martina Yanu, who joined up like that. Joined up instantly. Read the information back. Okay, I want to join. One person in six and a half years. We've had people watch us for three years and join. We've had people watch us for a few weeks and join. We've had people who we've been speaking to for a few months and join. You have to remember, recruiting is about a 90-day cycle. It's not about you're at a supermarket. People, I want, to be, I want to be on your team. Okay, you're in my team. It doesn't happen like that. This business is all about building genuine relationships okay you want to be you don't want to be known as two people okay you don't want to be known as the person who is oh my god that's avoid scott today because he's all about joining my team and oh my god he's all about sensi that's just walk the opposite direction you don't want to be known as that pe person but you also don't want to be known as the person who oh i joined sensi but i didn't know scott did sensi because he kept so quiet about it you don't want to be that person okay you always want to be sharing your passion and your love for your business everywhere you go but in a way where you're not shoving it in people's faces and when you do this people will be watching you and they will join they might not join right now but they will join so please remember it is a 90 day circle to success you're not going to you might get someone who joins straight away but there's a good guarantee you're not going to get someone who you spoke to five minutes ago and five minutes later they joined okay like i said we have recruited over 400 personal, people personally, and we've only had one person to do that. It's about building relationships with people, okay? Genuine relationships with people. And that can take a 90-day cycle to build that trust. Because remember, just say you just met each other online, people are going to be very skeptical, and rightly so, because that's the world we live in, okay? So you have to learn to build up that trust and build up those relationships, and that can take 90 days. My next tip is you need to be taking consistent daily action with your recruiting, okay? Posting to buy sell boards, okay? Every single day. Um, 10 to 15 posts every single day. Don't do hundreds, just 10 to 15 every single day. Borrow bag posts, get borrow bags there every single day. If you watch the previous videos, borrow bags has been one of our biggest recruiting tools, especially here in Spain and in Ireland, okay? It really helped us launch, really helped us push and launch Ireland and Spain through borrow bags, you know, because people actually get to experience the product. So please, check out the video on my three ways of selling Sensi. And that has been a great success for Alexandra, recruiting through borrow bags. Our Facebook pages, so many people have personal Facebook pages and we don't want to spam people, but we need to be letting people know that we are sense, sense consultants. We don't want to be shy. We can't hide from it. So we need to let them know. Um, we need to be consistently asking at parties if the host would like to be a consultant or if anyone in the party would like to be a consultant. We need to ask at basket parties the same thing. I was trying to someone called Leanne Hoppergood, who is a star consultant in New Zealand the other day. And I was on a Zoom with her and her recruit. And I asked her recruit, who is doing really well, Amanda, who might be watching this call, um, how did you join under Leanne? And Amanda went to one of Leanne's parties, so she wasn't even a host. And she saw the awesome products, but the main thing is, Leanne asked her if she would be interested in starting her own business. And the second main thing is, Leanne followed up with Amanda and asked her if she would like to start her own business. So every opportunity is a recruiting opportunity. But we have to do it genuinely, and we just have to plant the seed sometimes. You don't have to be all pressure, pressure, pressure. Just plant the seed and follow up, okay? So consistent daily action, posting and buy sell boards about recruiting, borrow bags, Facebook page and parties. And something Alexander wanted me to share with you. As you can see, if you're in the Emeralds page, we have a lot of Australians and New Zealand and New Zealanders. We have over, I think it's 1,100, 1,200 Kiwis and Aussies. We knew absolutely nobody in Australia and New Zealand when it launched, okay? We used buy sell boards, we used social media to build a team and to continue to build a team. And you have to remember that, okay? 
as much as your you know your best recruits are probably sitting right in front of you as your customers you also have to realize that if you really really want to make this work you can and me and alexandra did that through a time when she was pregnant and really really ill um and be, ended up disabled from it and i was not too good either um I'll be honest with you, I suffered uh, postnatal depression, which is really, really odd. But us men do get it, and I never suffered, suffered depression before. So at the time, when we recruited the most, Alexandra was pretty much disabled, and I was suffering postnatal depression. But we really made it work. We pushed through the hard times and the bad times, and we had many late nights, many early mornings. And as I sit here in the sunshine in Spain, I can tell you it was all worth it, okay? So never be closed off. To building globally, okay? But like I said, our hot leads are staring us right in front of the face of our customers, but never be put off by building globally and really having a good attitude. And that's what built our business. So consistent daily action, okay? The other day, Alexandra challenged you guys to do a list of 100. And I bet you, like I said, everybody got excited about the samples. Everybody got excited about the uh, borrow bags. Everybody got excited about writing their why and writing their goals. And then it came to the most important subject, the list of 100. And not many people got too excited about it. How do I know that? Because I read the stats on the video. And the list of 100 video was not as popular as the other videos. Okay, Probably because it's not that fun and it takes some hard work. It takes a bit of thinking. It might take some hard work and a bit of thinking. But it is the most important thing you guys have done so far. Okay? Because that list of 100 are your top leads. And when we talk about the list of 100, you know, I could sit here now and I say, I could say, I don't have 100 friends, but I definitely know 100 acquaintances if I think about the butcher and then the butcher assistant. And then I think about the person in Massey Mass and the other person who works on the Tully Massey Mass. So it doesn't have to be the per people you're going to invite to your birthday party. It can be anybody and everyone. And you've got to think of that, okay? But. That list of 100, you might now be excited that they are your potential party leads, which they are, or your potential borrow bags or sales leads, which they are, but ultimately, they are also your potential recruiting leads. So I want you to go through that list of 100, and I want you to start asking people about starting their own sexy business. Try and miss a bit off about joining your team, okay? You have to remember, guys, that... And this is something which helped us and um, when we realized this, our recruiting took off, okay? When you become desperate and you want people to join your team to build your business, it does not work. It does not work, okay? Because you want other people to do something for you so you can grow. Unfortunately, Sensi does not work like that. You have to see your potential recruits as people who you can help earn extra income as a goal, holidays as a goal, okay? It's like... When people join our team, i was use that word join our team, we try and find out what they want Sensi to do for them. And we help them and guide them to do it. So maybe someone just wants 300 euros so they can take their kids to the cinema once a month and have a McDonald's trip and it's all on Sensi. So we would help people achieve that. And you have to realize that if you go out there, like you want to help people, not desperate to build your team, but like you want to help people, then your recruiting will change, okay? Because it's not about us and it's not about you. It's about the potential consultants, okay? So I got a bit lost there, I don't know why. But use your list of 100 not just to get parties, saying that your best recruits come from parties, not just to get borrow bags, which you also recruit from borrow bags, but to also potential recruiting leads, okay? Have a recruiting list. We have spent our whole Sensi, I sound very American here, Sensi journey, having a list. Okay, people think because we're superstar directors, we're super professional, we'll have this nice office, this really, you know, organized diary, organized folders with all these little labels on. Unfortunately, welcome to the real world. That does not happen. So sometimes we can just have a plain piece of paper with a ton of names and a country. Most of the time it's written in a scruffy diary. Okay, so when you get a potential lead, you need to write it down. When someone has said they are interested in joining your team, or starting their own business, you need to write their name down. You also need to be not shy and you need to say, okay, when someone says they're interested in joining your team, you need to try and get a date off them. That is so important. Who's on the call? Trish Colopy. 
Trish Colby wants to join our team and she says, okay, I'm re I've read your information pack, which we're going to talk about um, later. I've read your information pack and I'm really interested in joining. So I say, I don't say to Trish, oh, that's great. Can't wait to have you get started. No, I say to Trish, that is absolutely fantastic. Do you have a date in mind, Trish, when you'd like to get started? And Trish would say, oh, around about the 25th. So what I would do is I would write Trish's name down in my diary or Alexandra's diary and put the 25th of March, okay? And I would be in contact with Trish every other day, just building that relationship with her because it's all about relationship building. So when you get a hot lead, yeah? Make sure you write down their name. Make sure you write down the potential date when they're joining. Make sure you write about them like Trish. This is just off the top of my head, Trish. Trish loves dogs and she loves walking. So I put walking dogs, um, walking and dogs and Trish loves the holiday, so I put holiday. So I would like gear my Facebook posts around free incentive trips or stuff like that. So you have to be smart, you have to be clever, but make sure you write down your potential recruit's name with the date when they're potentially going to join. That is so important. And then you have to work to that name, work to that list. A joiner is not a joiner until they join. I can guarantee you're gonna write someone's name, they're gonna give you a date, and they end up blocking you or they don't respond to you. Do not take it personally. This is just another no. I call it an advanced no, where they've actually built a relationship with you, but make sure you keep them on Facebook unless they block you, okay? But doing this, you will get recruits over the line. As long as you carry on, you don't leave them to that day. Always remember to keep building the relationship with them. Building relationships, we talked about that. Party, okay? So many people in the Emeralds do parties. This is a party plan business. So always do parties. You could have a great, great party. Don't be scared to ask the party host if they want to become a consultant. Number one, they're already doing the job of a consultant. Number two, you have their customer base all set up. Number three, you probably already have other parties booked from that party, which they can then use to launch their business. So party hosts are always the best consultants. We've got to give more than we take. So don't think about that party as, oh my God, that's 700 PRV for me, okay? Remember what we spoke about earlier. It's not about us. It's about the potential consultant and the consultant. So that 700 PRV party can be their first party, which will also go into your team numbers. And don't get me wrong, it will benefit your business long-term. Maybe not short-term, but long-term because Recruiting is the income for a lifetime. Remember, if you take those sales, they're the income for today. But if you recruit that party host, it can be the income for a lifetime. So always chat to the host about joining. Always chat to the audience in your party about joining. And always throw in a nice little joining party game or a nice little party um, joining conversations into the party. Okay, always remember that. Borrow bag recruiting. We went through this the other day on the other video. But every time you pick up a borrow bag, mention joining. Make sure you have joining information in your borrow bag so people can read it. The amount of people we've had join from borrow bags has been unreal. They are the most powerful, 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 powerful way to get your products out there, to book parties, and to get joiners. So keep the borrow bag post coming. But remember, it's so important that you actually have to ask if they want to join. Basket parties, same as parties. They are already doing the job of, of a consultant. We have to give more than we take and ask them if they want to join and they can have the sales, they can have the customer base and they can get their business started, okay? So that is coming to the end of my recruiting call, okay? Always have conversations with people. Some of the biggest tips I can give you is speak to people about themselves. Talk to people, show an interest in other people. Because, just say, who else have we got on the call? We've got Kia Ross. Hello, Kia. I will ask Kia all questions about herself. And when you ask people questions about themselves, it automatically makes them ask you what you do. And then you can have your 10 minute pitch, okay? And you're not pitching, it's just natural, and you can hand a business card, okay? But you always build genuine relationships with people. Smile, have a smile on your face. Be that person who people want to be attracted to. There's, I walk to school, I've got nobody, we got nobody on our team in 
for your school. I walk to school, okay? There's expats in our school, so we have we have expats and we have the Spanish. And all the expats, they're so miserable. I just want to hide from them. I just want to hide from them. I just don't want to be anywhere near them because, you know, it, you feel that misery from them. When the Spaniards, you see them smiling and happy to be, happy to be alive. And they're the people I kind of want to hang with. And that's the same with your business. If you smile, be happy, be jolly, be kind, be caring. People want to... People want to be associated with you and want to hang with you and they want to feed off that happiness, you know? So be a social bunny, smile, be happy, be positive everywhere you go and you watch. You will attract people to you and they will want to join your business because they can see it's doing great things for your life and happiness. Another thing I want to talk about is something which is so, so important and it's so, so small. It's the follow-up, yeah? The follow-up. So many people get recruiting leads, sales leads, party leads, but they don't follow up, you know? And we're not, in the, we're not in the year 1990 anymore. I remember, how old would I have been? Probably the late 90s, you know? I would, when I was 14 or 15, and I had to pick up the phone, and I had to ring somebody. I'd be ever so nervous because I, I hate ringing people up still because I can't see their reactions on the phone, and sometimes they can sound really grumpy on the phone when really they're happy, but it doesn't matter because you can't see their ex facial expressions. So we're not in those times. We have different ways of following up, even though the phone call is still the best way to follow up. You know, dropping a Facebook message, dropping a WhatsApp message, a text message, okay, is still following up. But so many people don't do it. Just a simple message. And as I said on my video, you are not going to die by asking somebody. You are still going to be alive. Me and Alexander have had so many people about joining and they said no. And guess what? I am still here today. I'm breathing. They haven't affected my health, okay? So always have that in the back of your mind, okay? Follow up, follow up, follow up. Follow up not just once, twice, three times, okay? And follow up. A goal I want you guys to aim for this month, and we talked about it on the last call, is bringing in two consultants this month, okay? And I'm gonna challenge you, because you might be thinking, oh my God, I haven't got a clue where I'm gonna get two, consult two consultants from. Guess what? Your consultants are probably staring at you right in front of your face, on your Facebook page and in your customer group, okay? So I want you to, these are today's challenge, I want you to text all your customers about would they be interested in starting their own sense of business. And if they say no, say, hey, would you like a basket party or a borrow bag, okay? Remember, you are not going to die by asking. And the second challenge is, so I want you to text all your customers, all of them, okay? Remember, just say someone says, yeah, I'm interested. It doesn't mean they're going to join five minutes later, okay? Build that relationship with them. Get their name down in your diary on a piece of paper. Get a date off them and work towards that date, okay? So remember, it's not going to be a case of, hey, would you be interested in starting a business? Yes, where do I sign? It's going to be a case of yes. And that's when the slow process starts of building relationship. But I also want you to post a message on your Facebook page. Alexander's asked me to share this. Asking your friends and family if they would be interested in starting their own Sensi business. Or know, or know anybody, a referral to starting your own Sensi business. I don't want you to be shy. I know myself, we're normal. You know, my, you're thinking, oh my God, what will my parents think of me? They think, I'm so, they think I'm involved in some kind of pyramid scheme. You're not involved in a pyramid scheme, even though people might think you are. Don't be shy, put it out there and work with the response, okay? But the most important thing is to follow up. One thing which is not on my list and I've just come to my mind is I'm probably gonna get Alexandra to share in the group. I want you guys, but I don't want you to do, I don't want you to wait to do this until you do the first challenge, okay? I want you to get on with those challenges, text in all your customers, WhatsApp, Facebook messages, put that message up on your personal Facebook profile about would anybody interested or know anybody's interested but then we also need to get our information pack sorted. And I'm going to ask Alexandra to post that in the page late today. You can copy ours. Obviously, you don't copy our details and copy our story. But you can copy the gist of ours and put it into your own words, into your own personal um, viewing. But let's get texting our customers. Let's message. Let's put, put a message on our personal Facebook profiles. And also put that same message on our VIP groups and let's get some recruiting leads guys. I also 
So that's two challenges. Also, I want you to go away and add yourself to buy sell boards locally and expand outwards, okay? Don't go adding yourself to hundreds, just add yourself to 10. And like recruiting, with buy sell boards, admins are gonna reject you. People are gonna say not let you in, but people are also going to let you in and let you post, okay? So don't, don't get all over the negatives. Think about the positives and try and work with those who work with you, okay? So I want you to, number one, text all your customers. Number two, post a post on your Facebook page asking if anybody would be interested in joining your, them starting their own sensi business or does anybody know anybody who would be interested in starting their own sensi business? And also, add yourselves to 10 buy sell boards locally and work out, work and keep on working out. And we're gonna do recruit, recruit and post in there tomorrow, okay? So that is my call for today. I am going to add a Q&A thread in the Leap to Lead page where I want you to put all your questions and I will get to them when I can and answer them, but everybody will be able to see the questions and the answers so we can all learn off each other. And I just want you to keep on with the challenges, guys. Keep on watching the videos. I know this one's probably gone on for 20 minutes, but most of the other videos, it's gone on for 30 minutes. Oh my God. But most of the videos are four to five minutes and the challenges afterwards. It's like probably 20 minutes work a day. Okay, making samples, blah, 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 blah. After this, it's probably 20 to 30 minutes a day to build your business, to build a good business, to have you become a stay-at-home mom or whatever your goal is. So put that work, put that effort in every single day and I can guarantee you will grow a business, okay? So keep up all the hard work. Thank you for coming onto the call. I'm now gonna open the Q&A up. Put your questions in there and as the day goes, for the next few days, I will answer them when I can. But I will answer them, probably not straight away. So thank you very much for listening. Um, and as I said, ask any questions. So have an awesome day, everybody. And I shall see you very soon.